Every social system is a living system, like a giant organism. In order to understand how it works as a whole, it is not enough to understand its single parts. For example, how individual organs work. Instead, it requires understanding the interconnections between the parts and remaining open for the mystery of life. In the same way, to understand your youth work system, you may apply the analytical approach, breaking the system into its parts and trying to understand each of them better. Or you might approach it in a systemic way, looking at the system as a whole, searching for interconnections, patterns in relationships and deeper meanings. Instead of seeing the details, you look at the whole picture. Systems thinkers like Peter Senge, Danella Meadows or Derek Cabrera believe that linear thinking is not the way to understand complex systems, as this would be like trying to find the recipe for raising a child or the universal formula for how to do good youth work. However, seeing interconnections is not enough either. It may give you an understanding of the pattern that is there, but it does not point out ways of transformation and change of the pattern. The phenomenological approach to systems dynamics invites us to take a systemic view to use our systemic intelligence to understand the system that we are dealing with. The good news is that when we are part of a system, we have access to the deeper layer of its life and somehow have information about the parts of the system, how they relate to each other and what the deeper needs are. It feels like by being part of the system, we are granted access to the systemic Wi-Fi this great asset gives us another channel for understanding what is going on in our system. The main receiver, in this case, is not our brain, but our whole body. This phenomenon has been witnessed numerous times in the method called systemic constellation. So, how do you apply and practice the systemic view? First, you have to change the direction of your efforts. Instead of trying hard to understand what is going on, typical for the analytical approach, try to remain present, open and exposed to the system. Try to sense what the system wants to reveal. What are the good reasons for the things to work the way they work? What wants to happen here? What is the direction that this whole system wants to move forward to? It is a bit like arriving in a new town and instead of learning about it from the travel guide and making efforts to learn the place, we remain open and wonder what stories this place wants to tell or not to tell. To do that, you need to cultivate a special attitude of seeing. Instead of zooming in, you need to zoom out to see the system as a whole and even as part of the larger system it belongs to. This applies to both space and time. For example, what is going on in your local youth work system may just be a reflection of what is happening at the national level or what has been happening in your local context at the moment youth work has appeared. It is up to you to find the right distance from which you can see it clearly and completely. Innerly, you need to open your senses and listen with the whole body, not just your head. You need to look at the system with love that does not want to change anything without intention to fix things or to help it, just to see it as it is. This does not mean that you agree with the status quo, but to initiate the right change, first you need to acknowledge what it is. If you are looking at the system that you belong to, you need to see it with fresh eyes and a fresh mind, as if you were a stranger in your own town without any previous experience with this place. This requires a bit of mind training and discipline but it is possible. If you are part of the system that you are trying to understand, it might feel like being in two places at the same time, dancing on the dance floor together with all other actors in your system and at the same time watching the dance floor from the balcony.